cloth and make a pillow out of it and rest this on the pillow and just oh, oh, oh. Mm. and make a tattoo and just you know, dip and go again, go again. Um, it's actually pretty fast. And I've had tattoos done with um, a regular tattoo uh, gun, electric needles. Yes. And so, you know, she 18 years one. old, Fort Ord, California. <laughs> Mm. She wants one before she leaves. Uh, <laughs> here's what we'll do for her. We'll tattoo her social security number on her forehead, and we'll tattoo it backwards. So that when she gets really, really old, she look in the mirror and she goes, okay, there's my social security number. No, um, and, and people, you know, uh, not all Hawaiians were tattooed. People get tattoos for different reasons. <coughs> in old Hawaii, you got tattooed because of A, your family, B, your social status, mm -hmm. or uh, the fact that you just like that tattoo, which is kind of a thing for today. People right. just yeah. like yeah. the yeah. tattoo. Mm -hmm. But if you notice, in, in this book, you'll see some pictures of uh, hula dancers with tattoos, right. mm -hmm. uh, such as this guy mm -hmm. with, you know, tattooed. And you'll see the people that are playing okay. the uh, the gourd mm -hmm. instruments, you know, the, the gourd yeah. drums, ipu. Yeah. yeah, they have tattoos on their hands. And what this was is kind of a look at me kind of thing. In other words, I'm the star of the show. I have more tattoos, I have better tattoos. And the guy playing the drums, he's got more tattoos, he's got better tattoos. And it's an audience thing. You know, you're looking, the audience is looking at these guys doing the hula and playing the ipu heke and they're going, they're watching them, why? Because they're attracted to the tattoos on their body. Women, on the other hand, some women, especially in Kau, on this island, they had their hands tattooed to identify the family they were from. Which is why, again, some designs are family designs. They can't be used outside of a particular family. This design on my arm is my family no. design. My nephews have no. it. My brother refuses to get a tattoo. <laughs> so did you design that one? Yes, I did. But I designed it with the elements from the almakua. Now, this one, almakua mm -hmm. is the shark. Yeah. Right, right, right. You also see some elements of the shark here. Mm -hmm. That's the shark teeth. Up here, these are double rainbows. In here, that's a lizard. Mm -hmm. not, not your common house gecko. We call this in Hawaii, we call it a lizard mo'o. Mm -hmm. But the mo'o in, in, in legend is like this 30-foot long lizard, you know. And then I have another one, which is the very top of here, <coughs> is a, an owl. So I have three omakua that I know of, and I know each one's name. These are like pet dogs, or any pet, you would have them give them a name, and they interact with your family. Like, if you have pets? Yeah. Not right now, but we've had. Okay, you've had pets, but if you call them, you know they say, hey, that's my name. Yeah. Same thing, like with the shark. Our particular family shark has a name, and I don't know where he is now because I haven't mm. seen anyone call him in 50 some odd years. Mm. But the last person that called him, that shark came, and we knew it was our shark, mm. and we would feed it, and it would know it was going to get fed, so you had this relationship like you're feeding your dog. And it was there's no fear factor there. We would go in the ocean, swim with this shark, no problem. But now, we don't know where he went. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't know how to call him anyway. <laughs> Here, shark. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much.